Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful to you, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. For the Acer Chromebook. It's an 11.6 inch uh, HD multi touch LCD panel. It's got an Intel Celeron processor, Google Chrome operating system, therefore the Chromebook. Uh, 4 gigabytes of memory, 32 gigabytes of storage. Um, it's got Bluetooth and Wi Fi, and then HD camera with wide angle and a 3 cell lithium iron battery. So let's go ahead and open this. That. So I'm gonna put it in an angle like this just because I don't know necessarily how it's gonna come out. So let's do this. Imagine this is gonna be the power adapter here. Let's take out the Chromebook. And then we have some other pieces here. So this here, these pieces here. So it comes in a nice kind of felt um, little bag here. Nice. I like the look of it. I'll get into this one in just one second. So limited warranty agreement here. Put that on the side, FCC, notebook computer, all your notices. So Acer Chromebook Spin 11 setup guide. So kind of quick setup here, using a notebook for the first time, plugging it in. Um, looks to be USB-C here, connect to a network, getting to know your desktop, um, launcher, and then accomplish everyday work with Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, listen to music, watch videos, TV or movies, and then chat with people. So uh, shortcuts and a lot. So quick setup there. And then here we have basically the power brick uh, or the power cable. So open that pretty quickly. That's your AC cable there. And then that's gonna be connecting to this brick right here. So five volts, nine volts, 15 volt, three amp, 20 volts at 22.25 amps. So basically gonna connect that here. So I'm just wondering if there's some, like a USB-C, if other USB-C power pieces will be able to power it up. So we will test it out, but in the meantime, we'll use this with this, I'm not gonna power it on right now, but so you have a Chromebook here. You got a couple little plastic pieces here. And so we're gonna take this off completely by rotating it, so. Um, here's a Chrome logo. That's the bottom of it. Uh, I'm gonna have to take it out differently once I open it up. Um, yeah, nice the feet are small. This is not the kind of feet that's gonna break. You have some fan vents here. You have a, not sure how to, I guess to show you guys this way. So you got your power button here. That's your USB input here to power it up. Uh, USB, so USB-C, USB-A. This might be an SD card slot here, not sure. That's a headphone plug, 3.5 millimeters there. So that's seeing the laptop. And then you have, this is your security for a security cables, anti-theft uh, devices for computers. Then you have a USB-C again, and then a USB-3. And that blue tells me that's a probably USB 3.0. Um, that one was blue too, so that should be USB 3.0. And then this is, it is a micro SD slot right there. So it's got it labeled right here. So you got those th things there, no labels down here, but then you have another piece here too. So I'll check what all these ports and everything are. 
um, and let you guys know. So, it's actually pretty nice. You have a little cover here, keep your keyboard and your screen. Nice here, so up to 10 hours battery life. Um, 10 hours battery life, wide field of view webcam, uh, USB 3.1 for data display and power. That looks like to be the USB-C. Google Play, Google Play Store, 360 degree convertible. All right, so we're gonna plug it in here on this side. And then we're gonna power it up here on this side. Oh, there we go. Gold chrome. So nice, so 11.6, so there's a lot of black kind of corner here, and then you have the black trim plastic. Um, so you have your welcome screen here. You guys can see. And again, you have kind of thicker, you know, black area of this, and then you have the smaller kind of view area there for the screen. Uh, so you're not getting the full real estate of the screen, but then again, this is supposed to be an 11.6 inch. Um, so I would think that that's from this corner to this corner, not really measuring from here to here. If they're measuring from here to here, then I definitely want to see that they're using the entire screen. But I don't think they would because this you have the Acer logo here, they have the camera there. So um, again, this is a, you can rotate this screen and use it as a touch screen. So let's go and then it finds your Wi-Fi, does all that stuff and then you can start your setup and doing all that. So go ahead and uh, get this set up and test it out, do a couple things with it. You know, maybe use an SD card, plug in some different devices, and then I will let you guys know how it works. All right. Hope you find this review helpful.